Hi, I'm Lori with the Inspired Sewist in Jupiter, Florida, and I'm here to welcome you to our first ever virtual Meet the Teachers. We're very excited about this program. All of the ladies have put all their classes together for you so you can have a spectacular show. Enjoy. Welcome freshmen. You've completed high school, top of your class. You have mastered some of the basics in your quilting experience, and I would like to welcome you to Tucker University. Uh, Tucker University is based on several of, actually all of Studio 180 tools. Uh, some of you are familiar with Deb Tucker's tools. You may have had a class before. And what we know about Studio 180 tools is that you're able to get multiple sizes, but you actually increase your precision. And she has, Deb has created all, a series of fundamental tools covering your basic shapes that are used traditionally in so many quilts. It's, I look around the room and ones that I'm sure you're familiar with. But what she has you do is start out a little bigger and trim down in process. That way relieving some of the stress from being precise in your cutting, your stitching, you're pressing and you start a little oversized and trim down so that when you're ready to put all this together it goes together precisely all your points are going to match and it just saves you 10 15 years of practice and uh, stepping into a professional looking quilt but through tucker university what we do is we focus on um, one tool at a time and you make a variety of the shapes that go along with it. Uh, Deb has, you start, we did start previously this year and we're actually going into uh, the third lesson. They're pretty much self-contained. So if you just wanted one tool, um, the one that almost made me quit quilting was flying geese. And January's class, which is January 7th, basically what we would like to do is have this class repeat um, the first Thursday of the month. So January 7th, we're going to be working on flying geese and making several of the units that go along with it. We'll also be covering pickets and quickets, which is a variation of the flying geese tool. And then the following lesson, we go into the squared squared, um, which can often give you um, a little difficulty. And we'll talk about fussy cutting. We'll also use this tool to make uh, little houses. So each lesson will have more than one um, block that you will be making. You'll be making all the blocks that are under that particular tool's range of uh, expertise. And then the next one would be the corner beam. And the corner beam, uh, this is a sample of all the sizes that you're able to get with most all of her tools. The corner beam, I know some of you do enjoy minis, so you're able to get a one inch all the way up to a six inch from the corner beam tool and all those individual individual sizes. And I look forward to seeing Thanks. all of you. Okay, dates for Tucker University. Our January class will cover the flying geese or the wing clipper and that meets January 7th. The February class meets on February 4th, which is the square squared. And the March class is our corner beam on Jan March 4. Got it right. Very good. So see you then. Bye. Software Inspirations is a program that we've been doing here for many years. Um, it involves the um, software embroidery eight Bernina Software Embroidery 8 um, embroidery software. We have continuing ongoing lessons every month in the software about a particular topic or um, aspect of the software. In January, 
we are going to be doing Digitizing 101 Beginning to End. It will be Saturday, January 9th from 10 to 1. It will cover aspects of manual digitizing. Sometimes you need to, to manually digitize to get the look that you want for your project. There is auto digitize within the software, but sometimes you need to manual digitize, and that's what we'll be learning in January. In February, on Saturday, February 13th from 10 to 1, we will be doing digitizing part two. Um, we will take a deeper dive into the finer points of manual digitizing. And then in March, Saturday, March 20th from 10 to 1, we will be doing creating with cross stitch. You can actually cross stitch with your embroidery software. You don't have to do it by hand. So we'll learn about that in March. Come join us for Software Inspirations. Hi, I'm Kathleen. I teach the AccuQuilt Go classes, and I'd like to introduce to you my upcoming class, two-part series called My Wall Garden. I chose these colors for my quilt. They were a collection of fabrics that I've had for here and there for about the past couple years. But I've seen walls in your colors, in browns, in terracotta, in blues, whatever color you want. It's a quilt to be creative with. Hi, my name is Joanne Jolly, and in, uh, on starting January 12th, I will be teaching a uh, class called uh, Start Quilting, which will be a daytime class from 10.30 to 1. It's going to start on January 12th, which is a Tuesday, and it will run for, through February 16th. So there'll be six classes all together, and it uh, will teach you everything about quilting from uh, selecting tools to cutting your fabric to piecing to getting a perfect quarter inch seam, how to square up your quilt, how to uh, quilt your quilt on the machine, and uh, how to bind it. And by the time you're done with the class, you will have completed a rail front, front fence quilt. That's hard to say. Uh, this is uh, one of the samples that I did to show you what the rail fence is. And it just so happens that we have a student project uh, from a recent class I did. Um, this is a brand new quilter student project. And she got it all finished and done beautifully. And when you get done, you will have a completed quilt. So come join us, whether you're totally new to quilting or perhaps you've been quilting on your own for a while and things just aren't coming out right. Um, join the class and we will make a quilt together. Thank you. DesignWorks is a fascinating software that Bernina offers for their sewing machines. You can actually paint, draw, or create crystal templates with DesignWorks software. In January, um, we will be covering some of the basics of DesignWorks. We have a few people that are new to DesignWorks and some of you may also like a refresher. So we'll cover some of the more basic functions in the software. We'll also cover different brands and types of pens and markers that you can use with Paintworks. There will be two classes for DesignWorks. We are actually going to be doing these classes in person because DesignWorks will work better with in-person classes. We will have a morning class and an afternoon class in January. Thursday, January 14th will be the afternoon class and Thursday, January 21st will be the morning class. Both classes in January will have the same content so you only need to sign up for one. In March, we will be covering part two of DesignWorks, the basics. We are gonna take cut work to the next level. We will work on 3D flowers and edge work. We will embellish with crystals and paintworks. Again, there will be two classes, a morning class on Tuesday, March 2nd, and an afternoon class on Thursday, March 4th. Pick your favorite day, pick your favorite time, and I will see you at DesignWorks. Thanks, bye-bye. Well, so nice to see everybody again, and I'm introducing another class that I will be teaching. This one is via Zoom, and it's the Blockbuster class. Some of you are familiar. I, it's the second go-around for Blockbuster, and also based on Studio 180 tools. And with the Blockbuster 
difference, the main difference between them is that Blockbuster will actually complete, you will actually make a 12 inch block. I will be teaching a 12 inch block, but as you know, the flexibility of the tool, you can make whatever size unit you like. Um, you can go on studio180design.net, check in the free downloads, and you will see uh, the classes that I will be covering. And our January and February class both deal with flying geese, variations of flying geese. But what we do in Blockbuster is you will also be pulling on previous lessons. Uh, this one has eight wing clippers and we also have combination units on the corners where we get uh, the use of the tucker trimmer. So you're reinforcing um, learning a new tool as well as bringing in the tool that you have previously learned. And this one also it's challenging. They do increase in degree of difficulty, but the difficulty really comes with your colors. And how are you going to make these to get the colors to come out where you want them? We know the tool is going to get our points where they need to be, but so the difficulty comes with where you do your, your color placement. And we're going to see the wing clipper here. And the pickets and quickets are in, um, the unit as well. Then the March class we are going to look at just if you remember from Tucker University we'll be doing a class featuring the um, square and a square tool. So at the end this has taken over so well that there are about 50 lessons we could do um, but what our group does is we do kind of pick and choose what we want, but you will be able to actually make, if you start with the 12 inch, you're able to get um, a quilt whenever you reach the number that you want. So uh, the girls out front will have information on your fabric requirements if you want to do just a block. The one thing I like about this class is that you're not committed to a whole quilt, but you certainly could plan for a whole quilt should you desire. So it's a great way, bump up your precision, take away some of that frustration, and learn a great technique. All right, I hope to see you. Hi ladies, this is Shelly, and my class this time is going to be another quilt as you go. It's cosmetic bags, um, large and small. They come, as you know, anybody who did my last quilt as you go, there is no pattern. All the, it's all printed <coughs> on the batting. And we just follow the batting and the zipper, the zipper is so easy to put in. Um, this is the zipper here. And all you have to do is fit your fabric right in between and top stitch it on. On my bags, as you can see, there's a big space here. So I added some decorative stitching to make it even look prettier. Uh, right now we have in the store the gray zipper, a few of those, and then a few in the navy zipper. The class is, um, in January on a Monday, the 18th from 10.30 to 1.30, uh, 12.30, and it's going to be a Zoom class. Okay, I hope to see you then. Hi, I'm Nan at the Inspired Sewist. We are talking about the guide classes for the new sergers and overlock machines. And we know there's a few of you out there. Our guide classes will begin for the serger and overlock on January 19th and 26th. So if you've bought a new serger within the last year, because we haven't been doing this, you need to call us and sign up for your class. We are doing a, set, a third class will be Tuesday, February 2nd, 
for the ladies that have purchased the new L890 Air Threader Sergers. I'm holding the book. That's called the Big Book of Sergers, and this is awesome, and this is something that we will also be using in class. So I hope you join me. Thank you. Hi, I'd like to tell you about the new Kimber Blanks program we are going to be participating in with Kimberbell. When you buy the blank, which is a tote bag, a tea towel, an apron, etc., and these will be blanks that they've not typically had before, you will be given the design to sew, to stitch, to embroider on that blank. In January, we're going to be doing Sparkle Like You Mean It, which is going to be on a tote bag, uh, complete with fairy lights. That will be January 23rd from 9.30 to 1. If you don't need another tote bag, I thought, you know, I don't really need another tote bag, but I might like a pillow with some fairy lights on it, so I think I'm going to turn mine into a pillow. In February, on Saturday, January 20th, from 10.30 to 1.30, we're going to be doing some darling ombre towels. The design is called Life is Short, Eat the Cake. So that's what we'll be doing in February. In March, Saturday, March 27th, from 10.30 to 1.30, there is the most adorable little bunny trails and cotton tails bunny basket. You'll be sure to want to do one of those for every member of your family. So once again, with the Kimber Blank program, when you purchase the blank for whatever price it is that month, and the, uh, the blanks will be all different prices, usually between probably $12 and $20, you get the design free. What a bonus. Hope to see you there. Hi, I'm Nan, and I am teaching a class this quarter on quilting with your embroidery machine. How many of you have embroidery machines? Raise your hand. See, I knew it. There are so many things that we can do with our embroidery machines besides just embroider. Did you know that you could quilt a quilt on your embroidery machine? Last year, I started a series of classes from Amelie Scott called Custom Quilting with Your Embroidery Machine. And we did get to have the first class out of the, um, for the year out of the book. And this was um, a table runner. This is half of a table runner. Well, I wanted to continue the series every quarter and bring another project out of her book. So this year, we are starting with a project called Butterscotch Bars. And it is a very simple table runner that has blocks with, which is like a nine patch. I have set up my project to be a bed runner. And my nine patch blocks, instead of looking like a solid yellow block, will be the look of a nine patch. And we can take any project in this book and make it bigger. Let's say you need a baby quilt or you want a larger lap throw. Come to me when you're signing up for this class and I will help you get the yardage correct for your project. Another thing that I am doing with this project is I am going to be introducing a new hoop that we've not used in the store and it's called the snap hoop. This hoop has a magnetic, um, ring around it that magnetizes to the bottom part of the hoop for perfect placement. So my projects here that are on the table are just a few of the quilts that I've done through the years with quilting with your embroidery machine. I hope you join me. Thank you. Let's talk about software basics. In addition to software inspirations, we also do some basic classes to help you to get to know the software um, embroidery, Bernina Embroidery 8 software. Classes three and four will cover some of the advanced features in the software, including advanced editing, multi-hooping, manual digitizing, and some 3D effects. Somewhere mixed in with class three and four, we will also cover applications such as quilter, block editor, cross stitch, and embroidery library. There's lots of things that we need to know about in embroidery library other than just going to look for our design. So come and um, learn some more about your software with the Software Basics Classes 3 and 4. See you there. On February the 8th, I'm teaching Air and Go Bra Pillow. I started a second pillow and I added the little gnome on the front. The, pillows are, the pillow is made with this heart die, the shamrocks, and this new 
gnome die and they're a lot of fun to play with i also made a little little hot pad come join me it'll be a fun class thank you on february the 12th i'm teaching the glorified nine patch quilt it's a great quilt to learn soft curves and it'll get you comfortable with curves after this class then you'll do, be able to do any curves uh, this is the die that, that you're going to be using on the glorified nine patch it's called the glorified nine patch and it's a nine inch finish block also, you can do these cute quilts with the same dye using different colors and different variations. Okay. Uh, nice to see everyone. And I would like to introduce one of the classes that I would like to teach this next quarter. And in February, actually it's a two-part class. The first class will meet February 15th and the second lesson will meet February 22nd. And this is a pattern, one of the modern patterns from Studio 180, actually designed by uh, Sarah of Studio 180. And we're going modern. So this is a downsize version. You're actually able to make a uh, lap size, twin or queen of your choice. But it has these wonderful pops of color and we actually use a tool called the corner pop. A very, very fun new tool excuse me, new tool that they have come out with and very fun to do. This was a great project. It will use a variety of darks, your accent color in the center. So the first lesson, what we would do is go over the tool and the process for the tool to getting the colors. But then there's an arrangement that you have to do to get it to cycle around properly. So that's why we're doing it in two lessons. I look forward to seeing everyone and happy quilting. Hi, I'm Nan. I am doing a class off of a pattern by Deborah Louie and it's called COVID Clams. Last year, at the beginning of the year, I did her first pattern, which was called Glamorous Clams, which was a pattern that we had here. It has a template for the shape of the clamshell. We got this fabric in the store not too long ago, and it was a backing fabric that was just so super cute that when we, were, when we got the pattern in, I thought this would make a great class. So I used that fabric as a guide to help me select solid fabrics that were Jane Sassman's solids. They look like hand dyes, maybe I think they're called hand dyes, but I thought this was the cutest thing. Last year when I did the first pillow, it really delved into the decorative stitches on the sewing machine, which everybody just really, really loved. So this is more of a plain version, but it's a new technique in that it's machine applique with the hand-looked stitch and monofilament thread. So the pattern is for a quilt size project. I like to do pillows because they're quicker to get through. And who doesn't need a big, soft pillow to watch TV with? I hope you join me. The class is Thursday, February 18th and 25th. Thanks. Okay. Hi, I'm Joanne Jolly, and I will be teaching a thread painting class uh, this uh, quarter. And it's actually going to be taught on Friday, February 19th uh, in the morning, starting at 1030. And um, you have a choice. This is a fun free motion quilting class. And even if you're a little nervous about free motion quilting or haven't done it a lot this is a great way to practice and jump right in there you have a choice of either uh, quilting one of these large beautiful panel quilts that uh, they have in the shop or if you don't want to do something that large you can pick a fun large scale print one of these cave prints would be great and work on a smaller scale a smaller project than the full size quilt and what you'll be doing is enhancing the uh, looks of the quilt by your free motion quilting. And I don't know how well it's, it'll pick up on the camera, but if you look at the back of the quilt, you get some idea of the type of quilting that you'll be doing. Like I say, if you're not real confident in free motion or you want to try it and haven't done it, this is a great way to start. I hope to see you in class. Hi ladies, I'm back again. This is Shelly um, with our, my next class is going to be Take a Peek. 
It's another zipper bag. It's a, a Kimberbell design this time. This whole bag is made in your embroidery hoop. Um, you use leather, many colors, one of the pretty lace zippers. This is the pattern and many different colors of the vinyl that you can put on the top. This class will be uh, February the 23rd, 10.30 to 1, and it is also scheduled as a Zoom class. Um, I know you'll, a lot of you girls out there love our little Kimberbell classes, so I hope to see you. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Hi, my name is Roxanne McElhaney, and I am one of the teachers here at the Inspired Sewist. We have some great classes for you in the way of Kimberbell. The first thing I'm going to tell you about is our one-day event, the Garden Guild. There will be three projects in Garden Guild. The first one um, is machine embroidery by number, a cute little pieced bloom that will be done in the 6x10 hoop. It will also come with four additional sizes that you can make after the event. The second one, the Darling You Look Radishing design, is a cute little radish pattern that will be done on the new um, fully lined Kimberbell zipper pouch blank. Those will be coming out soon, but they'll be here. One will be included in the event. The, the third um, project that we will do in the event is a plant mat. It's called Wet My Plants. Yes, I did say that, Wet My Plants. Um, it's a cute little um, coaster kind of thing that you can put under your house plants. So those are the three projects will, that will be done in the one day event. There are fresh techniques in this event, including pull flowers, cute buttons, and wool felt balls, and lots, lots more. Hope to see you at our one day event. It Hi, is I'm Joanne Jolly, and on Friday, February 19th, I will be teaching a ruler work quilting class, which is a method of free motion quilting with rulers. If Santa brought your rulers under your tree, this is the chance you have to learn how to use them. Or if you have rulers that have been sitting in a drawer for a while and you're just not comfortable with them, this is a great class to come and learn how to use them and how to do various techniques. Whether it's uh, straight line quilting, curves, uh, circles or ovals, we'll learn all different kinds of patterns. Um, what you'll be doing is a sampler type uh, block uh, like the ones behind me or you can choose to turn it into something like a pillow if you want to make a decorative item out of out of your ruler work so come along with us and bring your rulers and we will have fun thank you okay hi I'm Nan at the inspired sewist if you have a serger an overlock machine we are doing a class every quarter specific to surging. It's called Surge On. It's our quarterly serger club. In the first quarter of the new year, we are doing a cardigan, a wearable item. Yes, you can do this. It's not difficult. This is a pattern called Sew to Grow, Fall in Love with Cardigans. We have some knits in the store right now and we will be getting more. So I hope you join me. It's Tuesday, March 4th is our Surge On cardigan class. Thanks. Hello, I'm back. I am here for Kim Bari today, showing her newest creation. This is called Field of Flowers, and this class is on March 5th and 12th. This is so beautiful. She created this because she's Kim, and that's why you should take this class. You'll use um, cutting tools, and then if you look real close, you can see all of her beautiful quilting and how that um, quilting on the, the black on the flowers is just magnificent. These um, patterns are coming soon, and the class, like I said, is in March, and you should take it. Okay, well, welcome back. One more time. I have another lovely quilt uh, created by Studio 180 Tools, and maybe you've noticed there's a snail's trail in here. And if a snail's trail was ever on your bucket list, this might be the class to take. Uh, it is a modified version of the whole. Instead of the um, traditional unit that goes in here, we are going to use the corner beam. 
and it just makes it a lot faster. And look at all those points going together. Um, it is two classes and you are, this one is a lap size and it's actually a little shorter than a lap because I omitted a row, uh, but it comes in lap size, twin or queen. Uh, great colors, good opportunity to practice those skills and uh, take on a new technique if you haven't had it already. Those classes, again, it's a two part. Um, the first class is March 9th. The second class is March 16th and they meet on Tuesday. This is an in-store class but I would also like to open it up once we reach our classroom limit um, and extend it to a Zoom as well. So gather up your fabric, get your tools, check your calendar, and come on down. Hi, I'm teaching the Go Flying Colors quilt on March the 10th. I found this pattern in a magazine and fell in love with it. This is a great quilt to use your, your flying geese die. Most of you have this die. It came with the Go Big Electric Machine, um, or you can purchase a die on its own. I used um, this cute quilt as a great wall hanging or just to throw in your living room. What I liked about it the most is um, I liked how the colors went from darks to lights in each of these colors, all the rainbow colors. And I found that the cocoa Chanel fabrics would be a great addition to this quilt. Okay, for a long time, Diane Davis has been asking me to teach a bed runner class. And we found this cute pattern called How Does Your Garden Grow Bed Runner using the fun flower. The, the photo here is part of the pattern. They, they're showing it in pinks. And I did mine in my favorite colors and teals. Also, part of this class is going to be a pillowcase to add to your beautiful ensemble for one of your guest bedrooms. Um, I chose possibly this. This is the, uh, the top. I'll put a flower in here in a different color and the green band to match these flowers. Hi, I'm Nan. I am going to be bringing another quilting class to our calendar this quarter. And again, I want to, I want to continue it on a quarterly basis. It is called Quilting in the Ditch. It is designed for Q20s, Q16 machines, and domestics, our regular sewing machines. I want to bring you a class brought to you by a thought. A friend asked me, she was in the store the other day, she says, Nan, I don't know where to begin with my machine. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to be quilting in the ditch, straight line quilting with the Any Angle Ruler by Amanda Murphy or the straight edge ruler that's in the um, ruler kit for free motion quilting. And since I mentioned Amanda Murphy, she has a wonderful book that I'm going to be using and teaching out of that brings you different designs and how to make the design work, where to start, how to form it, how to move your quilt. So this is another quilt. It's a free motion quilt. It is designed for the Q20 and Q16 in any domestic machine. So I hope you join me. Thank you very much. Thank you ladies for joining us with our program today. And also want to thank you for supporting the Inspired Sewist. Yay, Yay. we miss you. <laughs>